Xbox. He must have seen that at least once before, right? Like we've all seen that a couple times. By yeah, Falcon. but you're not ready for it. Like <laughs> okay. I don't know. You're like, come on, I have to do this regularly now. But right. first, we're gonna have Sunsei versus Ginger, and right off the bat, we see five back airs in a row. Get 50%, and Ginger evens it up in one shine. Ooh. Ooh, Damn. brutal Damn. punish right there. Damn. Damn. And I wonder if Sunsei was trying to hit an Omsa Tech on that or another move and just completely missed his mm -hmm. DI there. Oh, good punish right there, too. Let's see if he can kind of... So like Ginger got the formula down versus Fox, man. Yeah. That man just knows what to do. Oh, he covers the double jump. Sunsei air dodges to dodge it, but it doesn't get him out of the combo. And nothing Ooh. gets him out of the combo. Oh, All right, that gets him out of the combo. Cooking. He was cooking. He was cooking. Cooking a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and even his shield too hot. pressure. You gotta wait to serve. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, the shine wave land. Put a little charge on it before you throw the forward smash. That's another one of those combos where I could see it 100,000 times and it's, yeah. it still looks pretty sick. Yeah. There's something about the charge animation in Melee. The fact that your character just freezes, it makes all charges yeah. look sick. <laughs> oh. Down throw Ooh. shine. Doesn't quite get it. Good DI out by Sunsei there. Yep. This is a Ooh. little known fact. This is some recent tech, but... uh. Falco would like Port 1 in this matchup. Port 1 gives him the down throw shine follow-ups. Uh, apparently it still works on Port 2, specifically 0 to 13. Down throw shine might work, mm. but it, it just overall you get better down throw follow-ups on Port 1. So. And given that Ginger is not in the, the higher port, he yeah. will not have access to that, it looks like. Exactly. He also didn't Ooh. have it in his last set versus Daki, so mm. unlucky for him. <laughs> I like that up tilt pick up. Yep. Really good follow-ups there. It doesn't quite cover the get-up attack on the platform. Good double jump. Ooh. Oh, my <laughs> God. Clank, yeah. Yep. There, yeah, this, Squid, this is some high-level melee here. This yeah. is actually ridiculous. Both these, of these guys. This is another one of these games we're going to have to... Oh, oh my God! God. SDI up Shine? But he SDI'd up. Most yeah. people SDI that away. I've never oh. thought of that. Oh, my ginger two-minute Yoshi killed story him game. Off of it. He, he did. killed him for jabbing him. How dare you? Never try to thunder combo ginger. Do not look in my direction. <laughs> that was not like... Wow. Man, looking forward to the openings per kill on this set because right now right. Ginger's at like 1.4. Like I don't know what it is, but that was ridiculous. Oh, seems they kind of throwing out you know, the big up smash haymaker and Ginger not biting at all. So, oh, jumping over the power shield. It's the first power shield to set gets jumped over. That feels bad. <laughs> You're like, man, come on. Oh, oh. Ginger spacing that all cancel back air so preciously. Man, Ginger versus Fox mm. is something to watch, dude. He's just yeah. so and so practiced. It looks so good. Like every decision, you're like, I see what he thinks here. You know, like <laughs> I have two Falco mains on commentary with me freaking out right, right. now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's got the he's got the game plan down, man. Just knows what to do. Oh, it's like every situation from the combo starters to the edge guards. Mm -hmm. Sensei trying to make it a little scrappier though. You can kind of yeah. see that when he's like in super close ranges, he can kind of find his openings when. Because Ginger's not going to have a. Oh Ooh. my god, but even the yeah. edge guard flow chart has this little soft back air forward smash mix up. That edge guard should be framed and put in the Getty Museum, oh I think. God. And this one too. Oh and my god. And the suicide worse, down air was yeah. so beautiful. That down air, the first one, by the way, I call that the Armada down air. He talked about it a long time ago. You shine them, they go off stage. You short hop off, double jump down air. Right. And it just like. Puts a stop to the stop right there. Oh my Ginger god. Ginger is in the matrix right now, and Sunsei does not yeah. know what to do. Finally okay. picks up one chain grab here. Let's see how much damage he can All get. Right. Dude, Ooh. this this game started out close. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> and Sunsei oh, still looks stock, good, though. yeah. If he can close this out. Oh. <laughs> Yo, what the? He's like, okay, he's I'll just <laughs> pretend that didn't happen. He's like, he's like, this is a fire stock. It's a fire oh stock, but it's not dude. a fire stock. Dude, Ooh. not even like mango combos like this. I, I know. Like Ginger is on a whole new level right now. Oh, he went for a mix up there. He finds a grab, has to go for the up throw back air. Really hard to avoid that dude. at high percents. I know you can SDI the lasers. But even SDI oh, up doesn't get you he, out there, I, so. I get why he didn't do it, but I, I was like, yeah, suicide, suicide, suicide there again. <laughs> <laughs> it would have padded the, the stats, because he needed one more opening now, so his openings per kill went down. Times are tough, oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, damn. Needed that max 2.2 yeah, yeah. opening exactly, for kill. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but he does play by the numbers. Yeah, yeah it's true, it's true. plays for stats, apparently. <laughs> I mean, this Ooh, looks like shine a, Oh, spot dot shine. How much you get? This looks like a Falco that wants to stay in Division 1 yeah. <laughs> later this month, man. Wait, was Ginger... He was in Division 2 at the start of today, right? So... Or of last week. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We'll hop you back here. You're clean, but Suse, I think this stage is working for him so far. Yeah. Goes low. Ooh, oh, that's a ginger classic. Damn. So normally Ginger does shine delayed back air, but he's been right. doing the shine turnaround delayed down air. To cover the tech up B. It covers a right. wall jump tech, it covers no tech. I mean, if, I'll be honest, that's the first time I've ever seen yeah. that in my life, dude. Oh, I need that's to look crazy. at this damage. Shines on the inside, goes to the top Ooh. platform. Shield pressures, oh, oh. even on the platform, not afraid. Yeah, making the top platform look like center stage. I mean, technically it is, right? True, <laughs> true. Oh, and even the rolls, they look so scary. Ginger has... He's put the fear into him right now, right? Since they had to full hop from the top platform just to escape this man. Man. Pressure. Ooh, get up attack. Ooh, yeah. finding the conversion, chasing him down into the corner with the approaching laser to find the kill here. And Ginger looking to match Mango with some of the dominance that he's kind of been showing today, right? Saying, look, I too can win 3-0 with three three snocks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if uh, Suse can channel something, man, because my man's is, uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's looking hard out here. It's, it's looking like Division 2 if you don't switch something up. <laughs> so, let's, let's see. What a roast. Looking like yeah. a Division 2 fox. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, I, could I, think, be I, think could, I definitely think he could bring it back. Yeah, I just, yeah. It's just rough. Like, Ginger's fucking... Ginger is, is putting on a show off. right now, and yeah, he's kind of... Yeah. He's teaching clinic. It feels like he's just... Every time he plays it, it really looks like he's teaching you how to play the matchup, right? Because, mm -hmm. like... You might as well have paid a patron yeah. for this lesson right here on Yeah, Falco you are not Fox. allowed to watch this set unless you are a sub to Ginger's <laughs> Twitch right now. <laughs> and I oh. can't even say, like, Sunsei is playing off or too too terribly or anything. Yeah. It's just Ginger playing out of his mind in this neutral. Yeah, Ginger is... Oh, Look at this! Jump read doesn't let him escape out of the corner like, with a full hop. What is this, Street Fighter? He's actually just yeah. covering jumps with a one-frame <laughs> yeah, move like that. Yeah, yeah sure you can. Yep. Insane stuff by Ginger. Oh, that's a Mango Classic. You full hop in the corner, you fall with the laser. It does get called out, but very close. Kind of forcing Sunsei to make these big callouts to even close out a stock. Sunsei just needs a knockdown like this. Oh, this could be it. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, still could be oh, it. Ginger okay. finds his way back. Great. Dash back out of Crouch in order to find a conversion here. That forward throw from Sunsei is never really going to combo into much. Right. Even if Ginger makes a wrong decision ah. like four times straight. Ginger has been doing the high laser from the ledge. This time he just gets up, rolls. Mm. Nice. Still doable clean. for Sunsei, yeah. man. He just needs a grab or knockdown here. Oh. It definitely feels like when. Oh, that's oh, it. That could be it. Does he go for a suicide down in here? He does not. He simply rolls Love. on Ginger with a stellar performance. I think he played real nice. I think you can kind of see when, when Sunsei put Ginger on the back foot. You were reminded of like the type of player Sunsei is, and he's like, oh yeah, he's insane, and it's really hard for Ginger, and Ginger would make mistakes in those spots when he's really under pressure. It's just that Ginger was able to maintain control 85% of the time, so well, yeah. he got to play his game. I mean, what was so ridiculous about the way Ginger played that is it seems like every time he touched Sunsei's mm -hmm. shield, it was completely safe. Yeah, he true, had He had true. a read on Sunsei's out of shield so well that he could get away with doing the latest nares and back yeah. you've ever seen, yep. and Sunsei is just locked up in pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good stuff to Ginger. Taking that set 3-0 in the blink of an eye. I mean, yeah. We barely had time to even break that match down, and that's yeah. one relegation he down. Let, he didn't let Susei jump at all, which is like... Yeah, oh God, really dude. That place. last opening, the jump shine in the corner. Who, who does that? Yeah. Who does a jump shine out of someone's yeah. jump to side platform? It wasn't even like a full hop double right. jump. It was like as soon as he yeah. jumped out. And it's, it's actually like, so Fox escaping out of the corner, generally you have to read him running out or full hopping out. Right. So it's kind of a 50-50. Most people, though, opt to cover it with like a full hop back air. Mm -hmm. You know, like something less committal, but Ginger just goes all in with the jump shine and just gets him. So mm -hmm. These combos oh, was, are ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger had a lot of extensions, too, on yeah. those combos. Like, at one point, I was like, these are Mango-esque combos, yeah. if not better. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh wall jump. Ginger's becoming really like one of my favorite players <laughs> to watch right combos, now. Ginger's combos, remember when Phil said that like Wizzy makes knee to knee look not cool? <laughs> and it, it's, it's not that Ginger's combos aren't cool, but like he makes like soft reverse nair down air look like standard. You it, know? It's, it's, how, like, it's how well he's performing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he does these combos and you're just like, oh yeah, that's just correct. You right, know? Right. Like, like It's like, yeah, oh yeah. man, this is Because so it's good. so perfect, yeah, you almost yeah. say like, I wish there was a little bit more. Yeah, you're like, no, no, you're just doing the flow Ooh. chart here. But it was like three reverse hit edge guards like or whatever. Like it's like, dang. 
Ooh, finds a back air there. Ooh, he flinched. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> when they like play the card and it hits you in real life, you know, or whatever. <laughs> You're like, ah! Fox back air! <laughs> 4.6. I think his average games 1 and 2 was like 2.0. And then game 3, he had slightly worse conversion. Mm -hmm. So it upped the average to 4. Yeah, I'd love to see, love to see the, the per game stats. Would be yeah, yeah. They had more, more neutral wins. Yeah. It's just a trip. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Damn, yeah, Ginger dealing Ginger got the 450 damage. more damage, yeah. yeah. Interesting that Sunsei found Shine as his most common neutral opener. Right, right. Uh, Ginger, right? Oh, yeah, both of them. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yeah, I think it was both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wasn't it laser for Ginger? Oh, was it neutral, neutral B? Oh, it was neutral B. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Well, that right. makes sense. Yeah, Falco's stats are always a little padded by that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lasers yeah. also mess up the openings per kill sometimes, because if you get a laser and you don't hit him for a bit, it counts as an opening. That's right. So... Unfortunately, that sometimes will up your average openings per kill, so maybe Ginger's was even lower. We can ask him ourselves how he felt about his own stats as we get an interview with the man. Ginger, how's it going? Division 1. Yeah, Division 1, I'm back, I guess, huh? Yeah, how are you, feel <laughs> how are you feeling about that match there versus Sensei? Um, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I haven't gotten the chance to play against Sensei too much, but... I sort of just went into it thinking that if I had my, like, general game plan against Fox, like, so almost, like, treat it as if I'm playing against, like, my practice partner, KGH, it's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, if I account for all the options I'm used to, I don't think Soon Saint's gonna, like, outspeed something that I'm used to or, like, hit me with some mix-up I've never seen before. Um, so it was a lot of solid stuff, um, but, I mean, he's really good. I, I just tried not to get reversal by the ledge too much and yeah. kind of handle the center stage as much as I could. Seems like your punishes were pretty on point. I think that, like, you did a lot of, like, soft reverse hits. All, almost all your openings were shines at low percents, so you're getting, like, the right, you know, starter for every hit, and you're just able to carry them all. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, how much do you think that, like... Because for me, the punish game in this matchup is, like, everything, right? So how much mm -hmm. do you kind of, like, prioritize, uh, like, which move you want to get a hit with in the opening and stuff like that, so... Mm. Yeah, I, I actually heard earlier you guys were talking, and I tweeted about it, and mm -hmm. Squid, I know that you liked yep, it, but yep. I, I was like, uh, I pay attention to percents a lot, and so um, I, I talk about a lot in, in the Fox matchup that, like, from 0 to 35, mm -hmm. the only things that you should be doing, you do four things. It's You're, you're either lasering, shining, grabbing, or late aerialing. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Because otherwise you're risking way too much mm -hmm. and getting virtually no reward. So it's a lot of laser dash jump shine, a lot mm -hmm. of laser grab down throw into shine or whatever the heck. Wh yeah. Whatever I could do to get a shine Unfortunately, you got port two up. both your sets today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did, but uh, he actually hit the SDI one of the yeah. times because yeah. from 0 to 12, mm -hmm. yeah. even if you're port two, you're still able to get a yeah. shine. But uh, God, you guys know way too much about this Huge game. Huge Falco nerd right now, nerd now. <laughs> Dude, Love it. I, I'm like sure that you guys want to get out of the next set, but I, I can no, talk no. about Falco versus Fox. Forever. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that was incredible, man. I mean, some of those combo extensions, that those are just kind of standard for you now. Like some of those longer mm -hmm. combos where you did first hit up air or whatever your choice was. I mean, that's pretty much just the uh, bread and butter nowadays for you, huh? Yeah, the thing is, I tried to find combo extensions that aren't just, like, cheese. It's not like, yeah. okay, well, I either get the hit or th I don't get the hit. It's like, okay, I either get the hit or he's in a terrible position, right. like, offstage right. or something like that. And the more, like, 50-50s I can force where no matter what it's favored for mm -hmm. me, the better. So you find, like, I'll go for a lot of combo extensions because... I actually have a chance to kill them instead of just going for some like early hit that may just like get me some small percent advantage. Yeah, um, nice man. It nice. definitely showed. I think that your mm -hmm. your gameplay looked really good. You've earned your spot back into Division One. Anything you want to say to kind of the fans and supporters out there? Yeah, uh, I, I appreciate all the positive support that was out there for me. Um, shout out to Luminosity, obviously kind of, kind of newly sponsored at this mm -hmm. point. It's kind of, you know, it's been like three months or so. But um, happy to be back in Division One, and uh, thank you guys for, for putting this on. It's great. Thank you. Good stuff. See you around. See ya. Good stuff to Ginger. He's going to get one week off until he has to play uh, again in Division One the week after that. True. So well-earned rest week for him. And then he's going to get picked by someone. So... It's going to be true. interesting to see how the picks go this week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>